Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Mobius. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. All right, so that's the team I'm thinking of going in with. Um, these are the three that are banned. Let's take a look at uh, what the defense has for us. And uh, I'm getting in here late, but I take path three, sections one and two. Looks like he's already tried. That man thing is annoying on that node. He really is. Uh, Warlock might be able to handle him, um, but it's an annoying fight. Uh, Claire can handle these two uh, on path three. And let's see. Not so about that Sasquatch, but maybe Spider-Man 2099 can handle that one. Claire can handle that fight. Ugh. And um, I don't know about Thing. I would rather bring in uh, Nick Fury than Spider-Man 2099. Simply because it's, it's annoying. But Claire can do that fight. And then we've got Hulk Buster. That one, uh, Warlock could probably do it. And here we've got, of course, uh, Nimrod, who I should be able to take down with Spider-Man 2099. That's usually when I bring Spider-Man 2099 in for the boss fight. So that's the plan. Uh, I don't know about that uh, man thing. I remember fighting him on that node, and he not fun. Not fun at all. But we'll try. We'll see. It's all we can do, right? Because it looks like uh, they've already tried and uh, didn't get it. So let's see if Warlock can finish him off. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Okay. We are back. And let me tell you. Right in section one, I ran into some trouble. And I have to remember not to do this matchup because it doesn't work out well. More on that when we get there. All right, so the first node is Darkhawk. Pretty straightforward fight. You don't want to knock him down. That's really the bottom line. He's very annoying unless you have somebody that, you know, can deal with that auto block. You just want to bait out his special ones and get him down that way. Uh, I chose Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, because she can handle the uh, armor up or anything like that. And I really should have used her on a, a fight later on uh, for the same reason. All right, but you see here, I backed off and baited out his uh, special one. See, doing the same thing here, trying to bait it out. And sometimes he really goes out pretty far in that special one. And I've gotten caught by it before. Very annoying. Okay, so here we go. When I have that special two, I want to do the special two. Boom. Pretty quick, simple, easy. Love Black Widow Clairvoyant. She is awesome. Okay. Never had any regrets taking her up to rank three. All right. So the next fight, we've got Corvus. Corvus, he's pretty easy to fight. You need to pay attention so you don't get hit with a special two. But other than that, he's not that difficult to fight at all. Uh, I remember back in the day, he was on a node. I think it was off to the right side of the map. Um, I think it was a bleed node and some other stuff. And he was really annoying there. Um, but that was back in the day. These days, just have to avoid that unblockable. And once you get him down to like 1%, just fire a special. And he's going down. Doesn't matter um, how many charges he has. Because once you knock him down, his glaive kind of breaks. Gets damaged. Alright, so this is the fight I'm talking about. This is Man-Thing, and you'll notice that 
my alliance mate has already tried and failed. And I noticed that he also had a warlock. Note to self, do not bring warlock to this fight. Don't do it. I need to remind myself of that. See that invulnerability boost? Doesn't matter. Will not help, as you will see. Okay, so warning, don't do it. All right, so you see here, I'm doing the standard build up my prowesses so I could handle the um, regen, right? All right, and now here we go. We're going in. Everything is looking great so far, but wait a minute. He just got that armor up, thanks to the node. And I have no way of getting rid of it. And I'm not shocking you. So now I've stacked up shocks. Look at this. Look at my look at my my um, health. See, it's starting to just go down. All them shocks stacked up. So now I see this and I'm like, oh no. So I'm just blocking, trying to get him down fast. I'm like, come on. But the more I hit him, the more of those um, charges, chitin, chitin charges or whatever he gets. Look at this. I tried to do a special two to finish him off. Barely missed it. Do not bring him into this fight. See, my invulnerability didn't matter. Invulnerability boost doesn't help in that case because I wasn't actually getting hit. Now, I don't know, but what I should have done, and I wasn't thinking about it then, um, I should have gotten hit and triggered the un invulnerability. I don't know if that would have given me any time because I don't think that invulnerability lasts very long. I think it lasts for just that hit. But I'm not sure how that would have panned out. But yeah, no bringing Warlock in there. It's like a Warlock trap. Uh, Claire would have been a better uh, option for that fight. Okay, so at this point, I'm kind of upset. Okay, I'm pr pretty upset. And I'm just like, you know what? Because I lost that fight, I'm taking this Doom. I'm going to take this Doom. Spider-Man 2099 is great. He doesn't get any buffs. I don't have to worry about Doom's aura and, and getting backslapped into oblivion because he uh, nullified a buff and put a shock on me and then whacks me. Don't have to worry about any of that, okay? The only thing I have to worry about here, which often gets me killed, is that backup recovery. Because I'll get into the fight, get focused, and the next thing I know, boom. Backup recovery hits. He's got a bunch of power, and he goes straight to a special three. So this fight, you really just need to play it safe. And you can see I was playing it safe. I wasn't even trying to evade because something I've noticed is that in, look at that. I tried to evade that one, at least the last part of it, but it didn't work, all right? But something I noticed, all right, see there, that worked. I always try to do that if I messed up, I want to try and figure out what I did wrong. And what I did there was I evaded earlier than I would anywhere else. So that lets me know that the timing in Alliance War is different than Alliance uh, Quest, Arena, in Questing, because I can evade him no problem. Not necessarily Alliance Quest, but in Questing and in Arena, I can evade him with one timing but that same timing got me hit. But I finished him off. And uh, I learned something. You know, that timing, I had to go a little bit earlier. All right. Now, this Professor X, I thought about it. But I was like, you know what? Let me chill. Just chill. Settle down. That's what I need to do. And I went to bed. Woke up. They had already cleared it. And I was waiting here. Um, this fight here in uh, Section 2, pretty easy fight, standard. Uh, Claire is beautiful for this fight. She strips him of all that armor, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, she, she is definitely my number one counter for this node and for Colossus in particular. Not the only one, but that's who I will bring every time if I can help it. All right, so um, nothing really to talk about on this fight. 
Look at that. She got rid of all of his armors. And from here on, it's just a regular Colossus fight. That's it. You know, I, I switched up to her Hellfire mode. Boom. Put that um, buff in uh, immunity on him after the special two. He's almost gone. Build back up. Watch for the special two because he will throw it like that when he knows he's about to die. And boom, you're done. Quick, simple, and easy. So I love seeing it. It's not that uh, Colossus is a bad option there. It's just that I have like the best counter. All right, now here we got Thing. Normally when I see Thing, I want to bring in uh, Nick Fury. But I didn't have Nick Fury. I brought in Spider-Man 2099 to take the boss, but didn't end up taking the boss. But in any case, um, fighting Thing is all about managing his uh, rock stacks. All right. You see right here, he's got 15. That's when you want to bait out a special. Now, the reason that he's tricky on this node is that if you're not careful, you'll end up with him and no power and he'll be at 15. So now you can't hit him. Or you would normally hit into his block. But on this node, you don't want to do that. So it's actually a really good placement for Thing. But if you're adept at fighting Thing, and I've had lots of practice fighting Thing, uh, you can take him on this node uh, as well without too much difficulty. So as you can see, no problem. All right. So, like I said, I didn't get a chance to fight the uh, main boss. That was uh, Nimrod. I was looking forward to actually trying him out uh, with Spider-Man 2099. I can't remember if I fought him uh, with Spider-Man 2099 yet uh, in Alliance War. Uh, but uh, one of the uh, our backup came in, brought in options for a couple of minis and the uh, boss. All right. So we'll be back and you'll find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to hit me up with that subscription. It helps me out. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, uh, feel free to leave that below. All right. Take care. And you all. Have a blessed day.